What's going on guys? Tactical Bacon here and welcome to H1Z1 Season 2 Episode 2. Now I know it's been a while since I've played H1Z1 and there's, I guess it's not really a good reason for it, but it is a reason nonetheless. Um, the reason I haven't played it or uploaded any videos on H1Z1 in quite a while is because, I don't know, when the game initially came out, like... Jesus Christ, man, it must have been over a year ago by now. I I don't have the date right here next to me or anything, like the release date or anything like that. But when the game initially came out, I wasn't really all that impressed with it. But I've really been getting into it the past couple weeks here, and I thought I would kind of come back to it and show you guys some of the stuff that's been added, changed, and still needs some work on or has been worked on. And I thought I would try to kind of fill you guys in on some of the newer updates uh, with some later videos. I'm not exactly sure how detailed I want to get with H1Z1, but I really think that my curiosity with this game was peaked once again when I started playing more uh, like crafting related games like Rust and Ark, and I started to get the hang of like hardcore crafting survival genre games I guess you could call them um, but yeah I'm really been digging H1Z1 lately and obviously that's why I'm gonna be making more videos on it um, and as far as those other two games that I mentioned Ark and Rust we're gonna be having some videos on Rust here pretty soon uh, Ark, Ark, wow there's a lot of ammo in here but uh, Ark is a little bit more I don't want to say difficult to make videos on, but I don't know. You, you guys will see when I start uploading ARC videos what I'm talking about. But anyways, getting back to H1Z1, um, I know that I'm going to be playing for quite a few hours. It may end up getting dark, and I may end up... I'm not exactly sure how I want to do the whole thing with the editing and everything. Uh, as far as uploading nighttime gameplay, I know it's kind of hard to see that kind of stuff. I'm... I'm working around with brightness and different filters to kind of make that stuff better. Just kind of getting some technical information out there for you guys because, oh, there's a guy over there. Oh, wait a minute, there was. There was a guy over there. Where the fuck did he go? Maybe I'll try to go find that guy. But yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoy today's video. H1Z1. Alright, run down here. I oh, there's a deer. There's a deer. Get back here, motherfucker. Alright, Jesus Christ, it's hard to shoot. Oh, fucking A. Kill this motherfucker! Holy shit, I keep shooting him in the ass! There we go. Whew. Holy fuck. Give me back my arrows. Look at that. Right through the fucking skull. I don't see how it. It really looked like it. Hi. Hey, what, what's up, man? I'm not gonna shoot you or anything. I just wanna. I wanna try to be friendly, but. Sky can the. Alright, whatever. Naked dude. Alright, so I found some night vision goggles, so hopefully this will help. I've. It's been nighttime now for about 15, 20 minutes. I'm not exactly sure how much of this stuff's gonna end up in the video. I guess I'll take one of those hatchets too, since they're. Plenty of them just laying around on that table right there. Take this metal sheet. Search some more of these cars. I mean, right now I've just bit basically been looting and kind of, you know, getting used to everything here. I'm not exactly sure how much of the map has changed since I originally started playing this game, but we're gonna definitely work our way around and see. There's a lot of zombies over there, uh, a little bit further down the parking lot. Romero's Supermarket, I like the name. Obviously uh, paying homage to George Romero. Or George A. Romero. Yeah. Alright, so I'm walking around with the night vision goggles on right now. I hope that everything looks a little bit better as far as the night time's concerned. Uh, this is a very weird tint of green. That I'm having a look at or look through right now. So uh, there's an outhouse over here. Uh, have not seen many players in this area. Uh, earlier, I did come across a player that unfortunately did kill me. That's why I have a little bit less uh, 
as far, or a little less gear than I had earlier, but I am kind of, uh, just a fresh spawn. Not really too much of a fresh spawn, though, but, yeah, you, you get the gist. I'm, uh, just basically learning a few things here, going around and trying to acquire different things to discover, uh, different items that I can craft throughout the game. Uh, eventually, at some point today, I do want to find a location to kind of build some kind of base. I mean, I don't expect it to last very long or anything like that. Go ahead and craft a makeshift bow and grab some sticks for some arrows here. But I definitely want to find some area to craft like a small base to just kind of show you guys like you know all the kind of different things that go into crafting a base as far as the foundations the walls and obviously the roof and doorways and all that kind of shit um and i mean you know for most of you guys that have played h1z1 before i'm sure that you guys know about the crafting and you're you're pretty familiar with it and comfortable with it this is more for people who maybe haven't really given the game that much attention like i've been doing or that i haven't been doing i guess i could i should say uh, but yeah, it's basically for people who haven't really been paying much attention to this game recently and who might want to get back into it. It's kind of an incentive or something to entice you to come back. Alright, let's see. Huh. Now see, there are a few things that I've been able to craft. Obviously, I learned the repair box a little while ago. Um... I guess I could probably go ahead and craft some more of these metal brackets soon. I'm, I'm looking at... Fucking great, I've been disconnected. Awesome. Well, come here, motherfucker. Oh! Oh my god, that was a fucking amazing shot! Let's see if I can nail this deer. No. I'm trying to... I'm trying to figure out the best way to to use the bow and arrow. I mean, obviously, you know, you have to arch, or you have to account for uh, arrow drop and everything. Why the fuck is there a stop sign over here on the side of this little hill? Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to get a little bit better with the bow and arrow, obviously, because it's one of the first things you can pretty much learn to craft uh, as soon as you spawn in, so, or as far as weapons are concerned, at least. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna come over here and hopefully get my arrow back right through the back of the head. Hopefully get some meat off this fella. And get some venison and... Alright, well maybe not. Well that sucks. What the fuck is this? It's like the top to like a can of peaches or some shit. But anyways, um... There are a few things that, because I'm, I've got on one monitor, I've got a bunch of different things, uh, as far as like crafting recipes, and I'm just trying to find out what all I have in order to craft some of this stuff. I mean, obviously we're going to be using the metal brackets for like the foundations of the walls, shit like that. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Um, but yeah, we're going to just try to come over, because this is the general area of where I want to build my little small base. There's that stop sign that's on the side of the hill for no apparent reason, but anyways. Um, back here, actually, because... Like, back here is where I wanted to build the base, because I could just build it off this uh, building over here, and I can actually use these two dumpsters as storage, which you see that I've been doing uh, now for the past maybe 15 minutes or so. Uh, just using these to kind of hold some of the items in my inventory because I don't really have a whole lot of room to carry all this shit around at the same time, so yeah. But I mean, I'm going to use these two dumpsters and probably build, um, because I mean, there's a, there's a little shit shack right over there to my left that has a, uh, dew collector, and, uh, I did not build that, it was kind of there when I came over here. Um, so that's not something that I've built, but I do hope to build some kind of small, uh, little building. Like, maybe my own little shit shack. Yeah, you can see it right up there on top of the hill. Uh, something that someone else had already built previously. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of discover here repair box. Well, I thought, oh yeah, that's right, I discovered the repair box earlier when, uh, another life. Hmm. 
Okay, so I have to place this on a foundation. So, I can't just place it anywhere in the world. I didn't know exactly how that worked, if there is, like, some kind of storage box that you can just place within the world. Um, I was kind of hoping that I would have, like, a little box or something that I could just put my shit in that would be a little bit closer to the base as I'm building it. Uh, a little bit closer than those dumpsters, at least, so... Uh, but I don't know. I mean, I guess I can keep using the dumpsters for now. Uh, to just hold all my little, uh, odds and ends that I'm not necessarily needing to use to, uh, to craft this little base that I want to build off the back of this building. And it's just this building right here. This big, tall, like, two or three story building right here. I mean, there are dumpsters over there. I guess I could store some more shit in. And I, cause I'm not exactly sure how much room there are in these dumpsters, and I don't know what would happen if, like, it was to overflow with loot or anything like that, so... I don't know. I'm just kind of worried about a few little things falling out here and there. I don't want to lose my ground coffee or these metal shards.